Please join me in welcoming our director, Pete Doctor, and co-director, Ronnie Del Carmen. Oh, I'm like giving you a well warm, warm Manila welcome, everyone. Come on, give a little director, Pete Doctor, and co director Ronnie Del Carmen, right there. Very, very gay. And look, like Ahmed said, they are smiling widely. <laughs> Anything you want to <laughs> say first to our friends? Thank you for having us. It's amazing being here. I, we've only been here, what, has it been 12 hours yet? Yes. I think we just yes. flew in last night, and we've already eaten three times. <laughs> so, uh, if we fall asleep, that's why. Yes. I usually try to think of something that we have not done before uh, and, and really push ourselves to do something new. And anytime we feel like, oh, that's a little familiar, maybe we explored that, then we try to shy away from it. So this film, I mean, the, the challenge with that, of course, is, and I found this the hard way, is if you go too far and you have too bizarre and new of an idea, people kind of scratch their heads and, and wrinkle their noses. And so this film was right down the middle. I felt like, man, this is an, our opportunity to show something to people that everyone is familiar with, but no one's seen ever before. So the idea of showing how songs get stuck in your head and why that dream you have is so weird and all this stuff we're all familiar with, everybody around the world, that was a great opportunity for us and we had a great time. I, the other thing, just in reference to your question, um, I think everyone at Pixar is a very, it's a very collaborative place. And there's no way we could make these films. Ronnie and I get to sit up here and, and wave at you guys, but there's a team of 270 amazingly talented artists who, who worked on this film, and every one of them contributed in some way to what you see. And this film was a real challenge all the way along because we decided to set it not in the brain, but in the mind. So it's not blood vessels and dendrites and things. It's, it's like esoteric stuff, like consciousness and uh, personality. And so we talk about these very abstract things, and I'd be like, in the back of my mind going, how are we going to do this? What does that look like? I have no idea. And I'd look over, and Ronnie has drawn it already. He just has this amazing ability to take these feelings and put them as images that we can shoot. And so I, I can't imagine uh, working on this film without Ronnie. Oh, thanks, Pete. So that's not the kind of collaboration that we do. Our offices are right next to each other, so I would start a sentence, literally. Anyway. What if it happened? If I could go into Pete, it's like it finishes. And then it would be a back and forth. And we work faster that way. Pete's the director, so he has to come out of the entire army of making Inside Out. I'm, I'm right beside him, behind him, kind of like waving at troops. <laughs> this is what it's gonna be like, because the big man said so. But we also collaborate in a lot of ways that, to me, is most satisfying as, as a creative uh, individual. Is that because what I get excited about, Pete gets excited about. When he's excited about something, I'm thrilled about it. We so believe that because we can see it. Yeah, you feel it, you see it, that's why it's a success. 